Genocide is the deliberate and systematic extermination of a particular group of people. The Nanking Massacre of 1937 was just that, the mass murder and war rape of Chinese civilians committed by the Japanese Imperial Army in the city of Nanjing, China. During the massacre, hundreds of thousands of civilians were tortured, raped, and killed over the course of six weeks. An estimated 20,000 women, including children and elderly, were raped by soldiers and oftentimes killed by use of extreme mutilation, bayonet, and bamboo stabbings. Soldiers forced incest between families and used children as bait to lure in mothers and fathers. Chinese refugees often tried to escape the Yangtze River but were cut down by machine guns or drowned. Prisoners of war and civilian executions continued at the river and bodies soon became accountable. As well as organized rape and killings, Japanese soldiers burned, looted, and destroyed Nanjing City itself. Once prosperous and beautiful city was now dust and ash. An international committee created the Nanking Safety Zone, which tried but ultimately failed at protecting civilians. Even with over 20 refugee camps, Japanese soldiers continued to rape and slaughter Chinese men, women, and children. This occurred until Japanese soldiers eventually had to move and continue the war elsewhere. By the end of World War II, several key perpetrators were labeled as war criminals, later tried and found guilty, and executed at the Nanking War Crimes Tribunal. This excluded Prince Asaka, who had imperial family immunity and was exhumed from prosecution. Sadly, only two individuals were actually charged, found guilty, and sentenced to death. While there can be no exact death toll numbers, it is estimated that 300,000 Chinese citizens were murdered. There has been much denial on behalf of the Japanese government and controversy about the rape of Nanking. Some suggest it was fabricated entirely for propaganda use, or at least all the events were exaggerated. Sadly, to this day, Sino-Japanese relations continue to be strained and unresolved over the tragic and horrific treatment of Chinese civilians that took place during the Japanese occupation.